Hey, Alexandra. Hi, Anna. Congratulations on the success of your film, The Cuban, which you not only produced, you co-starred in, and for which you won a well-deserved Best Actress Award. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I understand that you were instrumental in getting Louis Gossett Jr. on board. How did that come about? <laughs> yes, so my partner, Taras, and I, um, we decided to kind of stalk him, like, kindly <laughs> when he was in town for, uh, for TIFF. That was after trying all avenues possible and getting either no answer or getting a no. So as a final resort, we, we went to his premiere at TIFF for the King of Dance Hall. And we had our pitch package and script in hand. And when he left the theater, um, at the back of the theater, I literally chased him down in my black mini dress and my heels and got it into his hands. And, uh, and that was... That was it. That was the cherry on top that that kind of uh, got him on board. What a great story and good for you for taking that initiative. Now you gotta, you, you gotta do. <laughs> absolutely. Now you worked with some pretty big names in this and you totally held your own. I have to say you did a fantastic job, but was there anything that you learned from them? Oh my, uh, with both, especially Lou and Charay and, and the entire cast really. Um, they're all just fountains of, of wisdom and knowledge. So uh, every day really was, was an acting class for me. Um, but I think, you know, one of the biggest things I learned was that, you know, you have to do your work in prep. If you, if you don't do your homework when you, when you show up, then you won't show up in that moment. You, you really have to lay the, the groundwork to then step onto set and, let it just happen. Now, even though most actors were out of work during the pandemic, you were really busy on a music project of your own. What can you tell me about that? Yes, so my, my EP is titled Strive. And for me, Strive is all of the kind of thoughts and behaviors and actions that, that really got me through the pandemic. Um, so S stands for self-love, uh, T, transfer, transcend to, you know, to top myself. Um, R stands for, um, um, oh my God, oh my gosh, I am, I am blanking. Um, R, oh my goodness. Ah, R stands for reflect. <laughs> my, my gosh, um, which we all did a lot of during the pandemic. Uh, clearly, I didn't do enough of it. Um, I for instinct to follow my instincts. V for vulnerable, that it's okay to, to feel emotions and to, to be open and to share. And E is to emerge to, you know, to, to show up as your best self. So that was my pandemic project. And all of the songs, um, I actually recorded demos for in my bedroom because all the recording studios were closed. So I was forced to order in all these uh, parts and equipment for recording. And I had to learn how to become my own engineer, which was a huge learning experience. Uh, but I definitely have a new appreciation for those that do it. Did you collaborate with anyone on any of the songs, maybe through Zoom? Um, through Zoom, yes, uh, quite a few of them, yes, you know, various Zoom writing sessions or Zoom uh, learning sessions for me, just trying to figure out how to use the software to record myself, lots of those. <laughs> your former Degrassi co-star Spencer McPherson appears in one of your music videos, which was really cool to see. How did that come about? Well, with the song uh, titled All Night, it, um, it's really about, you know, how we all deal with anxiety and, and depression in different ways. And really that you're not alone with whatever it is that you're going through. And because the, you know, the Degrassi brand um, really is aligned with that message and, and so is the Kids Help Phone, who I also decided to partner with for this release. It just felt really fitting to, to bring Spencer on board and, and help tell this story. 
Do you keep in touch with many of your Degrassi co-stars? Yeah, of course, of course. Especially now with social media, it's uh, it's so easy. We always know what everyone's up to. <laughs> but yes, we definitely keep in touch. Now you're currently back in Toronto for a visit, but when you're away, uh, what is it that you miss most about Canada? Oh, well, Canada is always home, you know? So it's definitely that uh, that feeling. It, it's tough to to describe, um, but you know that that security, that that safety, that familiarity, that peace, that diversity that uh, that Canada uh, stands for. I know the pandemic still isn't over, but have things opened up enough that you have other projects lined up, or are you focusing on your music for now? Right now, I am definitely focusing on music, but uh, you know, I'm one of those creatives that likes to have her hand in many different pots. So um, I am also developing a few projects as a as a producer. Wow, that's amazing! You're so young, and you're a producer, and doing so many things. Uh, <laughs> you know, doing my best. <laughs> um, and finally, where can people find your EP? They can find my EP basically anywhere you can find music. So Apple, iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music, and, uh, and Google Play. Sounds great. Thank you so much, Anna, for, for chatting with me today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel or if you're returning and haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so now and click the like button underneath the video. Tap the notification bell if you want to make sure not to miss out on any new celebrity interviews.